High-speed chase up in Aberdeen this week led police to a virtual arsenal of weapons inside the suspect's home. ABC2 News' Jeff Hager has more on what uh, police found. Jeff? Kelly, on its face, a loaded 45 caliber handgun magazines and bulletproof vests may not seem like that much, but officers also discovered 9,000 rounds of ammunition, which is about eight times as many as the gunman fired in Las Vegas during October's mass shooting. It seemed like a routine traffic stop here on Center Dean Avenue in Aberdeen on Wednesday night. But police say 37-year-old Brandon Jones balked when police wanted to search his car. The driver then fled the uh, traffic stop and a pursuit began into Havity Grace where the vehicle um, became disabled and officers apprehended both men inside the vehicle. Investigators are still trying to determine the car's peak speed during the chase, but it was so fast the low-profile tires disintegrated from the friction created as they grabbed at the highway. A search of Jones and 36-year-old Andre Evansell's home here on New County Road turned up a loaded handgun, ballistic vests, and 9,000 rounds of ammunition, including cartridges for a military-style 7.62 rifle like those carried by soldiers in the Red Army. It's very out of the ordinary. We typically don't see that much ammunition um, in a search and seizure warrant in the city of Aberdeen. This is Jones' second home and second stash of weapons discovered in just two weeks' time. At a separate address a few blocks away, police discovered four loaded handguns, three of which were reported stolen after his wife reported that he had fired a weapon at her house, the same house where the second batch of weapons turned up. Weapons which could carry dire consequences for these men with lengthy criminal histories. I know both subjects that were arrested um, are prohibited from uh, carrying firearms or having ammunition. They both are convicted felons. Now, investigators believe Jones fled from police because of a package from a gun parts company discovered inside that car addressed to him and mailed after his arrest two weeks ago. The reason officers pulled his car over in the first place because of the window tinting, which was too dark in violation of Maryland law.